In the Citizens' Assembly, we've had a very interesting session with four politicians from Scottish political parties talking about the kind of Scotland they would like to see, what the challenges, opportunities, priorities and obstacles are. And we've had a fascinating, robust but very respectful discussion about some really important issues. Well, I think that the, um, the thing that struck me was that people were not obsessed with the process questions of politics. They wanted to talk about how we could build a different Scotland, how we could perhaps uh, have a Scotland that had very different social values, uh, that tackled with a sense of urgency climate change, uh, that understood that uh, we need to see some pretty fundamental changes in the balances of power in society. So it was an engaged discussion about some of those bigger questions, which I thought was very enlightening. I thought it was interesting that there was a big appetite in the room for improved public services and we did have some chat about what kind of taxation or wealth re redistribution might be required to implement those. I think the key thing from today is that people want to make life better in Scotland for everyone. There were some interesting discussions about how the day-to-day -day bread and butter issues uh, link in with where power lies uh, in Scotland and that people are very focused on getting the, the right solution uh, at the right time. Yeah, I'd absolutely agree. The, the, uh, the, the key thing that I took away is actually how engaged in this process a lot of the people involved in it are, speaking to them obviously in here when they're asking questions, but also uh, outside just now. Uh, you know, there's a real passion and a real interest in what they're doing, so I hope that continues. I'm hoping that this will change and enrich how Scotland does democracy. Participatory democracy is a very core green value. We like to hear from different voices. But especially I think this body has the power to, to look ahead into the future in a way that parliaments are not able to. So I'm really hopeful that this body can help us come up with a long-term plan for Scotland. I think, from my point of view, I think it's about making sure that we refocus as parliamentarians on the issues that matter to the public outside the, the doors of Holyrood rather than the things that perhaps we get worked up and uh, very vocal about. So I think it's making sure that uh, issues that matter to the public are really brought to the fore. The parliaments are often the last to get uh, the change in mood and the change in demands of the public. Uh, and so um, over time, often it's extra parliamentary voices that shape our politics uh, and I hope that this Citizens' Assembly experiment, this pioneering work, will help to shape uh, and colour the future of debate in politics in Scotland. Democracy is not a one-off event, uh, it has to be done uh, continuously, we have to protect it and look after it and we have to find new ways to engage uh, with individuals uh, and communities and the Citizens Assembly uh, is new, it is innovative for Scotland uh, and I think it will help Scotland move forward uh, by enabling a better conversation about our shared future. I think from my perspective, just picking that up, I'm interested in how we do these things and I think what we've seen today is that the acceptance that politics and political issues are, are not binary, they're not simple, they're not black and white, there are shades of grey, there's complexity, there's uncertainty and we've seen four senior politicians showing how these issues can be discussed with civility, with respect, at the same time maintaining the very different positions which they hold on a number of important topics.